Hi guys and welcome back to SciTench where you can see all interesting site engineering and civil engineering stuff and in today's video guys I finally gonna show you the slip form you can see one of these is being assembled right now uh, the one behind me is already finished we got another one there running on the level number three now we're gonna have a look at this and then guys we're gonna go all the way up to see this one how it's happening when this nice very long 65 meter pump is working and we're gonna see how it's done so let's go so as you can see guys this is already here everything ready to start to jump up to shoot up and to start sliding it up but uh, we're gonna have a look guys uh, how it looks now there's a ladder access for now and obviously that's gonna be changed uh, later it might be hoist so it might be hockey stairs going all the way up and uh, I'm gonna show you this guys uh, so you can see the walls are ready everything is before the first pour here you can see the distances for the steel uh, the climbing pipes here uh, you can see there there's a uh, levels marked uh, by the engineer here so that's the most important thing guys is all the rest gonna be actually measured with the tape measure you're gonna be tape measured from the edges of the wall and the levels are the most important thing uh, in the sleep form actually when you're gonna be installing your quick strip, when you're gonna be installing your doors and other openings if any and uh, obviously this is a small sleep form this is the residential project so it's not a big one uh, but on the huge projects, on the big projects, guys, the slip form might be very big, like I did and in 100 Bishop's Gate. And there was a plenty more stuff coming, like half fans, there was a big plate, uh, and there was a very busy there, guys, and uh, there was a very big uh, job itself, really. But uh, you can see the guys got ready here, nice solution here. They got the hook for the U bars, they got all still ready here, that's how it works. And as it goes up, uh, the guys fixing uh, steel. So uh, that's, that's the working deck here. I'm gonna jump on top to show you the top deck uh, when the fixer is actually passing the steel from the top going down. And this is another fixer working here on this deck. But guys, as I said, I, I'm gonna jump on top there on one of these sleep forms and I'm gonna show you how it looks uh, when it's all working, when it's all busy, when everyone's there and, uh, and it's very busy. You're gonna see it's a little bit crazy when it's all going up and hopefully we're going to speak with the driver of one of these slip forms there and he's going to tell you a little bit more about all this stuff as probably he knows more than me but you can you, you got the hydraulic jacks here so that's how it all works here this is under pressure this this thing uh, sliding up on these pipes here and then later these pipes are extended uh, similarly to still you're going to splice the steel and you're going to have to just put the pipes in to extend them so the slip form can climb on top of them so the idea is very good guys here as this this is climbing on the pipe here so once the concrete is poured the length between the the wall and actually anchorage of this pipe and between the the hydraulic jack to climb it is not that uh, high so that's that's how it works really so it's a very very good idea and then uh, yeah i think we're gonna jump up uh, i show you the 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 level before and once we're gonna go up there they're gonna be another level below for the guys for the concrete finishers and uh, all the stuff and uh, if you got any questions obviously just guys leave this leave some comments leave the questions in the comments and i'm going to reply to them as soon as uh, i can just have a look guys like everything is nice uh, prepared here ready first aid safety is the key here guys this is very important as uh, sleep forms are busy and uh, the guys everyone have to be sleep form inducted obviously and uh, they all very experienced here the crew is very good i can say and then they do the great job but let's go up there and have a look uh, what we're gonna have here you want to be in my video right. <laughs> how are you man Good, yeah. i work with this man and i work with him on some other jobs and he's doing now the job here as well very good crew guys as i said <laughs> Thank you. yeah and then so that's how it looks guys uh, obviously all steel all steel deliveries everything concrete as well going from this deck all steel you can see it's de delivered here so this is working deck and the guy's sliding the bars down and as i said the fixers down there he's tying them in and splicing them so that's how it looks the fixers are bringing the steel and that's how the wall is extended really and then uh, we're going all the way up guys up there the guy's using here the pacing boom uh, i showed you on the on one of the other videos as well so that's that's the way they pour in the concrete there in the slip form but uh that'll be all guys and i'm gonna try to jump there so guys you can see there they are wrapping up that uh, slip form now the bottom deck is there uh, i'll try maybe to go there for a minute to show you this but as i said guys uh, we're going to be jumping uh, on one of them too on top later so i'm going to show you how it looks but that's the deck there the bottom deck you can see there 
I didn't have a minute to go before, just before they, they wrap it all, but uh, you can see they wrap it. Uh, they probably put nice uh, JRL logo on it and stuff like this. And uh, then they're gonna jump up. But that's ready now. This is the, the working deck uh, as we was before. How much? <laughs> no problem. You wanna be there as well? You wanna be on the video? <laughs> okay. So that's going to be wrapped up now nicely as i said uh, you can see the starter bars all the way it's now ready to start going up hi guys just to show you this one uh i see the electrics they were working before just to make everything uh, safe and ready to start but uh, i see they started wrapping it up so before they wrap it up i want to show you this uh actually going to go down there in a minute to just have a quick walk around it to show you that uh as you can see that's actually the other one but uh this is already lifted so they can uh, build that uh, bottom deck here uh, which you can see and then uh, that's how it looks uh, all complete now really just getting ready just getting wrapped really just making sure everything is safe all, all, all good to go really and then uh, go up uh, as all the rest of them you can see that one on top uh, as i showed before that one is uh, finished the other one going up and uh, in a minute guys we're gonna go on the tallest one there and i'm going to show you how it looks when it's all working inside and where the concrete is being poured into the walls sleep structure so that's guys how it looks here you see the deck is ready now that's the shutter here it's access ladder in here everything you see that rubber here it's just making sure and nothing gonna fall down uh when using the slip form obviously there's some, some extra safety things guys and wherever you access the slip form you need to be actually slip form inducted uh to know how everything goes there on the slip form uh every safety features and all the stuff like all your tools have to be tethered you see the there's a tethers here on some someone's belt so the tape has to be tethered every single tool has to be tethered and everything have to be just fall protected and then uh, as i said the special induction have to be carried before you access the sleep form so uh, that's how it looks guys as i said before this one is nearly ready to start going up uh, but now guys uh, oh that's a nice edm they use in top on here i don't know if i told you this before another type of edms i just showed you closer so jrl using top cons when you join them guys uh, you need to be ready to use a very good edm anyway you use a tablet so it's very easy not complicated but we are going there now guys and i'm going to show you what the concrete is coming and how it looks from the inside let's go so guys uh, i'm going to be accessing the sleep for now the, there's a hockey stairs running just in the middle here all the way up and uh, this is as i said that's a 13th floor so it's not that bad but uh, on the bigger sleep forms on the higher ones like 50 60 floors you obviously need a hoist and there will be a hoist i can show you the hoist actually on one of the buildings outside but they're not using hoist here on this job uh, for the sleep forms so that's the way guys uh that's the laser here uh, i'm gonna tell you just in a minute about it uh, this is the way the engineer is checking uh, the verticality of the sleep form and as you can see here uh, that beam from the laser running all the way up and uh, you can see actually there are openings in the slab to allow that beam goes uh, all the way up so you can actually measure from the laser to the wall so that distance there from your laser into the wall obviously need to be the same all the way up once obviously this laser is uh, perfectly leveled here uh, but obviously it is you can see it's on so that's the laser the engineer is using and uh, let's go up guys so guys I'm on my way up uh, it's quite high you can see I'm already here at this level a uh, little bit more up and I'll be there what a nice view guys I'm here now so let's go up and let's have a look what's happening in there guys so that's the first deck guys here you can see here the doors are already installed and uh, the man is working here concrete finisher just make a nice finish here on the walls but as you can see the concrete is actually quite all right here so no problems whatsoever the guy's doing very good job here and uh yeah guys don't be all uh, see the door so it's all actually sealed and safe now uh, so once it's all finished it's, it's it's very good guys little difficult guys right boss so you can see it's very similar to what i show you now just the guys pulling the concrete i'll try to jump up there as well and show you 
you can see the, the pump is there. So the pump running here. The guys pouring the concrete. That's how it looks, guys. So you can see the shutters. They are nearly filled there. Uh, after the shutter is going to be filled, uh, everything going to be vibrated properly. Obviously, after some time, the guys start to leave the shutters. So I'm not going to show you this uh, today, as that's going to take some time, and I cannot be here long because I'm actually on my break time now. But uh, as you can see, as I showed you before, fixers are working here. Oh, it's my mate here. How are you, man? <laughs> so my friend is working here as well. This one you can see. So all that hydraulic jacks, everything you see the pipe here. So that's what I explained before on the one on the ground uh, that's going to be in lifted uh, and then I'll try to I'll try to actually show you from the top how it looks now and we're going to have a look at the view here probably we can say hello to the crane drivers I think oh look at the nice it's not even the ladder it's like a proper steps here uh, this slip form actually is different to some slip forms I wore before it was a wooden platform so this is actually like a this is a steel sleeve form and this is made to measure and the guys assemble that sleeve form here. I'm going to show you this in a minute as well. As I showed before, this is the levels here. You got a pump here. So that's how it works really. The concrete is distributed all over there. And that's it guys. So uh, I'm going to go down and try to show you actually they assemble another one. This one second guys because I did technology. high technology here. The <laughs> guy says high technology. Well, give me one second lads. Can I see this? What's this? Oh Jesus, this laser size, so you yeah, cannot even right. measure this. Okay, I didn't know. It's right actually. High technology. So the laser is actually showing here position anyway. So you know, it's plus five, minus six. Perfect. Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> so it's very good. So you don't need to even measure old school like uh, with the tape measure down there. So that's okay. So what I said, guys, you see, th this is going to be for the doors. So actually, the, the guys got the shutters here, the steel shutters. So everything is so like automated. It's perfect, guys. So you don't really need much, many chippies here working. What I was doing before, uh, there was plenty chippies uh, putting the doors, putting the openings, putting the the coney bars as well, and all the stuff. But as you can see, this is th this will be the door opening here. So you got the U bars there. Everything like it should be. And then uh, later when the shutter is going to go up, that's going to be like a, it's not a, like a lean and they're gonna be links here so uh, the door gonna be the opening gonna be created as it should be so that's how it works that's the opening guys uh, quite interesting I never seen the steel one so uh, good I'm here actually and uh, that's how it works so openings as I said uh, coney bars at the proper level so probably that's gonna be slab level here on the doors and they're gonna be at this level gonna be for coney bars so maybe engineer actually mark it if he did not mark it yet he will mark it for the guys and that's how it go that's how it works Yes, there's more doors here. I didn't notice that before. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that's it here from the top. You should know everything now. But I'm going to still try to speak with the engineer from here and the foreman as well. And we're going to try to find out what they're expecting from people working on the sleep form. So let's go. Uh, just to maybe quickly tell you one thing. Uh, if you may be afraid of heights, I don't really think the sleep form is going to be the best, the best for you, really. As you can see here, uh, it's quite high. A little bit windy today as well. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. Just uh, as always guys, please, uh, if you got any questions, don't forget to uh, leave the comments there and uh, let me know. You can see here the coney bars here. So that's another job for the concrete finishers. As they go up, they cleaning all this and making ready later for the floors uh, when they're gonna be all shuttered here. Uh, they're gonna be proper connection uh, between the slab and the wall, obviously. So yeah, let's go down. So guys, that's the one being assembled here. It's far from ready. But uh, guys working on it, so uh, similar to the stage I was before on and I show you, but that's the, that's the way it works. The walls there, they're still going to be connected and then they're going to be first pour and we're going to go to the stage where we are at that one there. And then obviously we're going to go to this one and then we're going to go all the way up and then it's going to be struck and just ready to receive the slabs and to connect with the slabs and just make the whole object ready really. So guys, uh, that will be all in today's video. I hope you like it. And uh, if so, please don't forget to leave the thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification. Follow my LinkedIn page as well and uh, check my coffee page too. Unfortunately, guys, uh, today I couldn't get uh, Sleep Form Engineer and then uh, Sleep Form Foreman too. So I'll probably do another video when I'm going to do like a small interview with them. We're going to ask them uh, what they expect from the engineers and how the job is looking there from their point of view. And then uh, maybe I also show you that, that uh, tape and how to use it to take the levels and transfer the levels on the sleep form.
So thanks again for watching and see you next time.